you're an engineer okay you're in a factory and the owner tells you you need to clean up this machine and get it working again crunching down literally going like bam 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 can you turn it off obviously and they say no and that sounds stupid right why would you as an engineer do that that's like absolutely risking your life for no reason it's gonna make it all a mess our body is like an engineer and it tries to fix things and when the machine is going bam 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 you know the digestive system that is you because you keep fucking eating five meals a day so intermittent fasting is basically basically turning off the machine and it allows your body to start actually fixing the problems it has there it starts fixing your insulin sensitivities it starts fuck it starts fi- getting all the toxins out of your system everyone loves to say that and in the morning since your system is off you're not going bam 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 you can actually work out like really well because you have like this extra level of like emptiness because you've heard everywhere breakfast is like the most important meal of the day right your parents probably think you're starving yourself if you don't have breakfast breakfast is a scam breakfast is trying to scam you the processed food people said no 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 everyone we need to eat in the morning the morning is the, the best time to eat and then everyone was like well i can't cook in the morning i gotta go to work and they said oh, well we have our cereal we have our lucky charms we have our fruit loop not only that but the guy who really started like pushing out breakfast like kellogg's that was literally made to lower your libido the opposite of steak and eggs is basically grains cereal which is basically like what all the food is for like kids and shit and that is literally made to like lower your testosterone like in a religious sense so that you don't like you know in a religious sense so you don't look at uh, women with lust and so you know there's lots of different types of intermittent fasting you know you can do pro- probably mostly like it replicates like real ancestral humans which is probably just one meal a day maybe even some days not even having that right literally like if you were a really successful like adventurer you would probably have like one meal a day if you were like the alpha male right the most important part bro is at least only have two meals a day no snacking in between don't pick up like a random orange and eat it or whatever literally two meals a day stack them all up lunch and dinner you do that that thing bro and you're gonna start to notice that you're gonna find it like really easy to get lean everywhere online you know it says that intermittent fasting will help you lose weight like that's like the main like thing that it it posts on and i think it does because well you're mimicking more like our ancestors the way that they ate and you know you're having less meals so less calories uh, as a whole because you feel fuller more but that's not the main like thing about it because an intermittent fasting bro it won't make you lose weight it might help you lose weight it might help put you in a calorie deficit but it won't make you lose weight and you can bulk with one meal a day you can cut with five meals a day it doesn't matter so right now i'm listen- i'm talking to you know my younger self my little cousin who's exactly like me you know you're fat you play games all day you wake up you have your breakfast it's as simple as saying waking up i'm not hungry right now i'm not hungry right now you delay the next food at lunch you can even literally add in if you're not interested in weight loss or anything you can basically add in your breakfast at lunchtime but you'll find that you won't be able to eat like your whole breakfast and your lunchtime because that like obviously that's too much in one go and then what you'll start to notice is you're going to be way more grateful for the food because when you wake up you're not really that hungry are you and, and if you are you didn't have a big dinner the night before which is just like a weird way you know like you're meant to eat a lot and then sleep like rest and digest so this will make it so you have a big dinner you'll still feel empty like you'll feel satiated but empty so that means you can work out you can go on a run you can do like deep folk like literally like work you can start working on like your homework and shit that like you all reading you can read really well without like your mind going off anywhere because you're actually at like the proper state that you're supposed to be you're in like a keto state that's how you're supposed to be living and this is a very good healthy just way to start to get started but it won't be everything again if you want to lose weight again if you want to start getting healthier what you need to do is you have to pair intermittent fasting with at least keto preferably low carb or just at least like very like carnivore as close to like beef as possible that's the food that really goes down like your digestive tract that doesn't really make as much of a mess in there it's not inflammatory whatsoever you pair that up with strength training at least three times a week and you pair that up with cardio like running at least three times a week you do that you have intermittent fasting strength training cardio and you have like mostly meat bro you're gonna be good your health is gonna be at a good level we can get to other topics of you know lowering plastic consumption and shit to like uh, optimize the microplastic and your hormones and all that and that is perfect 100 percent. but that is going to be like the 80 20 you need to do all of that and you're going to start like feeling really really healthy anyways bro if this video did help you make sure to smash like subscribe and also the top link in the description is my one-on-one coaching call if you want to book with me see you bro